Well, good morning, everybody. Or if you're listening on a recorded version, good day. This is Andy Abramson. I am the Chief Marketing Officer of SkySwitch, and welcome to another in our series of webinars brought to you by SkySwitch and today with Jabra. Today, I'm going to be joined by Nicholas Bayon, the Channel Account Manager for Jabra, as we talk about work from anywhere with Jabra. Nick, welcome aboard. Thanks, Andy. Nice to be here. And I'm impressed you got my, my last name right. It's only four letters, but I'll tell you, uh, it, it gets everybody. You know, when I was younger, I worked for the Philadelphia Flyers and our former broadcast announcer, the late Gene Hart, was a linguist and he had done some kind of work in the military. So we used to listen to games and he would always pronounce the foreign hockey players' names correctly, whether they were the French Canadians with names like Le Fleur or Dion. <laughs> But he really got the Russian names correct. And I had the good fortune to work with Gene for many years from the time I was about 14 till close to my 30s. And Gene drilled into me the importance of understanding how to look at a name and figure out how to pronounce it. And then in high school hockey, when I was doing high school hockey broadcast, I had to do the same thing with the players, the high school players' names who came from families who had names from all over the world. So a four letter name. That was easy. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> One of the things Thanks. we're going to do today is dive into what's going on with Jabra. And given the situation that we're in right now and how this doesn't look like it's going to be an overnight thing with COVID-19, it's about adapting. And it's about looking for not, not pessimistically and not optimistically, but realistically, because realism is where the answers lie. So why don't we dive in and, and learn what we're gonna talk about today with you. Perfect, and um, I do appreciate it. And as Andy said, we are in unprecedented times around the world here, um, seeing unforeseen shifts in society that are impacting us all. For many, the, the sudden shift into working from home has been a, a real disruptive to both our work and personal lives with a long-standing belief in the benefits of working from anywhere. Um, join us, Jabra, for a session that reviews practical advice and recommendations to help those, those of you that are new to remote working um, really adapt, keep engaged, and, and productive in this time. Our hope is that you'll find values in these tips as another way to add value to your customers and really differentiate yourselves with another trusted advisor touch point. Uh, we will also close with some exciting new Jabra products. Uh, product offers sure to be uh, valuable to you as you find new ways to grow your business with SkySwitch. So we are going to talk about, let me jump over to slide two here, um, really our partnership with, with SkySwitch, creating some systems for remote work uh, managing virtual teams for success and growing your business with, with Jabra and SkySwitch. So um, let's dive into that. And that picture on the right, that's not AOC. Um, we couldn't afford her. I know that that looks just like her though. Very funny. Tell us <laughs> all about the modern, the modern workplace because you know Jabra and I spent a lot of time in San Diego and I remember when the company was there many, many, many moons ago uh, before a lot of the consolidation occurred. The workplace has changed, and what's really going on in our modern world? Absolutely, and, and I, I don't mean to age you that that was a quite a long time ago, Andy. That was before my time. Um, so we are um, the workplace is really evolving. Uh, even before this pandemic, the the trend has been shifting towards allowing workers the flexibility in where they do their work, where they, where they conduct their business. So as you see, 70% of knowledge workers are working remotely at least once a week. Um, obviously, right now, it, it's more than that. Um, and less than 20% of mobile professionals actually spend time at all in an office. 87% um, of employees work in distri distributed teams spread out across the country, uh, continent, or even the world. I know that's how it is here at Jabra. Um, and I hate to say that I belong. So if you look at 69% uh, millennials who would trade other work benefits for flexible working options, I hate to say that I belong to this generation, even though I am what they call a cusper because I'm right on the edge of it. Um, <laughs> for me, it really was true that the ability to work remotely was important to me as salary was. Um, and that's what we're seeing with, even now I think it's Gen Y, um, it, they're even more of a um, wanting to work remote or work flexible options um, than even millennials were. 
when I, I've been working from home off and on all my life because when I was in sports, when I was young, I had to work at night and I had a phone and an answering machine and a fax machine. And then as career went on, working in press boxes and on the road at arenas, it became second nature to have the tools to work from anywhere. And I think that's all part and parcel about what Jobber provides are essential tools to the anywhere worker that, you know, so that you can work remotely, you can work on a job site, you can work in your office, you can work in your car on an airplane, et cetera. One of the things we're gonna do at the end of today's webinar, so we're gonna let uh, the audience, our resellers, who need to understand from you what jobbers are offering them, we're gonna offer them the opportunity to post some questions that we'll read off. And also we have some prizes that jobbers offering as well to those who stick around and um, until the, the end. So uh, why don't you dive into the whole Jabra universe? So because it's more than just the Jabra brand these days. Yeah, uh, perfect segue there, Andy. And a couple of things I do want to talk to you about your past career because it sounds like it was pretty unique and uh, and fun here. Uh, so Jabra is part of GN Netcom, which is a Danish-based technology group. It's been operating six. 1869, uh, where we actually dropped um, one of those uh, ships used to use, I can't think of it right now, we used to drop those lines um, across the ocean. Uh, we were the first to do it from Europe to Asia. Uh, Telegraph, there it was. Uh, a little bit before my time as well there. So um, it is the, GN is the uh, among the leading and fastest growing suppliers of hand-free communication solutions. As you can see, uh, GN underneath that umbrella, we do have some medical grades. So GN Resound, they make the hearing aids, um, Interiton, Autogy, Belltone, um, and then professionally, which where Jabra lives is Jabra and Blue Parrot. Um, with Jabra, we also did just purchase a company called Altia Systems. So we now have a, a video conferencing solution as well. Consumer, um, we do have consumer products in places like Best Buy, um, Office Max, and um, you know you'll see them at airport kiosks all around for our enter or our consumer grade products um, for Jabra and Blue Parrot. So you've got a wide swath of products. Why don't you drill down and talk about the products that really SkySwitch resellers should know about, and why in today's environment with more people working from home? the Jabra line is so important for a customer experience. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so really the main question is why SkySwitch and Jabra? So SkySwitch together with Jabra headsets and speakerphones deliver easy to use, capability rich UCAS and CCAS solutions. Jabra devices bring the crystal clear voice as you can hear from, from my lovely voice now, uh, superior customer experience and ultimately faster user adoption um, of the SkySwitch solutions. So work from anywhere. That's a great point, working from anywhere. So let's get set up for success. So with this slide, we'll just kind of go over, um, you know, steps that you can do and implement for your remote workers and, and, and you as well. So you really want to make sure that the whole plan for working from home comes from the top. So make sure that everyone from the employee to the CEO are really involved in creating the plan for remote working. You want to enable your team for success, and that starts with a digital and fully virtual workspace. Another important part of the success of the employee is setting them up with the right technology tools. And this is really where SkySwitch and Jabra can help. Um, and we'll dive into that a little bit deeper in the next slides here. You also want to mandate a video first culture. I know some people are hesitant to have a video calls for various reasons, you know, hairstyles, they don't feel like getting dressed, maybe they're a little nervous to be on camera. Um, but I find that that, that that really all boils down to the fact that they just aren't used to it. So once you or your employees start having more and more video calls, it really does become like second nature and becomes really does become the preferred way of having a call. You can see everybody's uh, facial movements. It's really more like talking to them in the office and it, it, it brings that more inclus inclusivity <laughs> into it. Um, and the last point is very important. As a team member, it is vital that you don't take for granted that someone understands you or your wants or your needs. Be sure to clearly state what you are looking for. And then how, how to manage. manage. How do you, 
Yeah, how do you, I was going to say, you, you, your last point was about implicit versus in, in, inferred. And when it comes to managing a virtual team, and I've been, you know, our team is virtual, Emily Erica and my marketing team, the whole SkySwitch team is pretty much virtual now. Uh, you know, Eric's in one part of the country, Jason's in another. Our sales and su our support team is in two places in the world. How do you manage a virtual team so they're successful? Yeah, and that's, um, we'll dive into that. And I, Jobber here, we are, I think, 85 to 90% of us, even before this pandemic, we're a virtual company. Obviously, when you're owned from Copenhagen, um, all of our salespeople, uh, marketing people, we're, we're all pretty much spread out across the world. So managing it is a, is a huge task. Um, and there, here are some points that could really help if, if you guys are getting into that now. So this slide is all about managing the virtual teams. The biggest point, and that, that's why it's first, I guess, um, is lead by example. Your team members will instinctively look to you to see how to work in this new virtual environment, um, really how to conduct themselves on these calls. And, um, really, and then the next point is of lead by example, and that is make sure to set the communications behavior for your team. Um, so you want to, really set in place those kind of rules on, on how to communicate virtually, how to have these calls, how to have these webinars for a great example. Maybe now that it's virtual, we have more and more webinars, which I think is just really the, the best way to do it. Um, you also wanna make sure that you are sharing team files. So there's a lot of applications that you can use for this. Um, and you wanna make sure that they're easily access, accessible to all your team. So if you guys are working on a document um, as a team, you wanna be able to make it to where people can live edit it and things like that. Um, you want to share your calendar if you're the managers. Make sure your team members are aware of your availability. I know with me and my manager, it's always nice to be able, if I have to jump, you know, get her on a call, I can look at her calendar. All right, Jen's available right now. I can grab her. Um, it, it's, it's really helpful. And the final note, and I think one of the most important ones, is a check-in with your direct reports. I always find it super helpful to set up a weekly or, or maybe a bi-weekly, depending on your business, cadence call with your team members so you can go over um, you know, everything you're working on, stay on the same page, and it really makes them feel like um, a, a part of the team, even though you guys may be hundreds, thousands of miles away. Nick, what I'm hearing is it's about inclusiveness, not excluding people. I mean, we hold a daily stand up every morning, uh, except today because we push it back to go after the webinar, but the marketing group holds a daily stand up and we go around what are the things you're working on today, what new things have popped up. And then also include people in calls in the listen only mode. They don't have to be talking, but at least let them hear what the dialogue is in a discussion. So there's none of this, let me get you up to speed. None of, let me get you uh, all the notes. They're all there. And then the last thing I think is that's real important about working with your direct reports, record your calls, your conference calls, make them available so somebody can listen in, who's got to you know dig into the notes or even write the notes, the contact reports, things like that. By having your direct reports involved as opposed to excluded, work gets done faster and they contribute more to success. And that's what we want. I think we want more success from our team and as opposed to it all being about I. The last time I checked, there's no letter I in the word team. That's right. Those are all great points, Andy. And, um, you know, with inclusivity, it's really good for mental health, too. And it, it really makes uh, the participants aware that, hey, we are we are still working. We are working for this great company. Um, so like you said, inclusivis inclusivity is, is really paramount to this whole work from anywhere model. So let's get into this. So the six home office habits of highly successful people. I've been working from home and it sounds like Andy has for many years. Uh, and all of these have, now I started doing it before these, all these slides were out in the workplace and the world, but um, I really follow all of these. So I think this slide really highlights some of the essential points in, in planning your remote working day. So you really wanna establish a designated working area that you know, that your bedroom, your garage, even a shed, anywhere where you can get away and you can actually go somewhere to say, all right, I'm gonna start my day. It just gets you that, that mental area that you want to be. Um, create habits to help differentiate your work day from the rest of your day. So, you know, get up, get breakfast, maybe work out, shower. Uh, it's, it's real important when you when you work from home and don't see anybody for a week at a time. Um, and what really helps me 
is get dressed like you're going to the office. I put on a polo, a nice pair of pants, and I still dress like I'm going in the office because it really helps differentiate your work day from your, you know, lounge day, let's say. Um, you do want to set up your virtual work area, make sure that you have all of your equipment up and running. And most importantly, for me, a person that sells headsets, um, and a lot of them run on battery, make sure you keep those charged. I know with a lot of the Jabber products, we do have battery lives of 18 hours of talk time. So, you know, it's great, but sometimes you may forget to charge it because the thing just seems like it lasts forever. Um, you wanna keep communicating, get on the phone with your customers, have those conversations just like you're in the office. Um, and it's always important to look after your health. Just like when you're in the office, you wanna get up, you wanna get out of your chair regularly, do a lap around the house or go get something to drink. Uh, you know, non-alcohol, of course, you, you still are at work, even though you're at home. Um, and this one, this one really hits home for me since I have two small kiddos here. Uh, make sure to set guidelines with your family and, and, and work. So me, I actually built an office in my basement. Um, my wife is home right now. She's a teacher, but she's home right now. So she's luckily able to watch the kiddos most of the day. Um, but you know, she knows and the kids know if my office door is closed, um, I'm most likely on a call, so 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 not to, you know, interrupt me. This sounds like you need an on-air light. In the, in the old days of broadcast studios, there would be this big red sign that would say "on air," and you weren't supposed to walk into the studio because that meant the announcer or the actors were actually talking and they were doing their job. So perhaps some of you out there should look for one of those old neon on-air signs and put that in your in your room or just have a red light. And when the red light's on, that means you're working, don't interrupt because you might be on a call. What's the worst thing that I've ever seen is you're listening in on a call as someone's talking to you and your mouth's not moving. So people just walk in and start talking to you as if you could talk to them. And you go into this frantic pointing to a microphone or pointing to a speakerphone. And we've all lived through that at least once. So to take Nick's advice and close the door. Yeah, if, 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 if you don't have access to those on-air lights, um, I know there are some busy lights from uh, manufacturers. I was actually thinking of drilling a hole through my wall and, and running the wire through the busy light so I can, I can put that on the outside. So whenever the light's on, uh, it means daddy's on a call. Exactly, exactly. But those are effective habits of successful people. And it sounds like by encouraging people to keep on communicating and also looking after their personal health, they'll be successful. Absolutely. So let's just go to a couple extra tips and, and maybe some advice. I, I, I don't mean to drone on about this, but it's, it's so important. Um, so here are some tips just for having a, a successful virtual meeting. Um, turn on your video. I know that goes back to video calls and, and, and people having to get used to it, but turn on your video, be present, be respectful. Uh, you know. If you're on video, maybe not write down notes and look down the whole time. Look at the camera as though you're looking at the person in the eyes. Um, pause frequently. Ask for, for questions and feedback. I think this is a, a, this point is the most important. If you're not involved in dialogue, mute your mic. I know we've all been on a, a, a call uh, where you maybe have 20, 30 people on there and you just hear uh, dogs barking or you know, somebody having a conversation with somebody else in the background, just remember, mute your mic. Um, Jabber headsets, they will light up red when the mic is muted, um, and it'll alert you that the mic is muted. So that does help with that. Um, but really, just, just make sure that. You also want to make sure you monitor the chat box. Um, that way, you're not leaving everybody out, um, and you don't, you know, you can make sure you address any questions that pop up when they pop up when it's most relevant. You talk about monitoring the chats and to address points or post questions. Do you find that that breaks up the flow or do you want to, do you hold them to the end? What's your suggestion there for the meeting so that when people are chatting but not speaking, you're able to properly work those answers into your discussion? Yeah, it really depends on um, the layout of the call. So like a webinar like this, um, a lot of times I find it beneficial just for the flow of it. To hold calls till the or questions till the end. So chat your 
you know, let everybody know at the beginning, hey, we're going to do questions at the end. We'll, we'll check chat then. Um, but if it's kind of a, um, you know, meeting with your team, that is one where I think it, it's, it's beneficial to just constantly check it. Um, team member might not be able to get on the phone, especially now with everybody working from home. Maybe it's too loud or noisy in their environment and, and they have to use chat. It's really the best way to monitor it fully during those calls. So um, to your point, Andy, it, it really depends on the call. Webinars hold till the end mostly. Live calls with team members, you know, that's one where I would check um, throughout the call. Great. And remember, you can ask your questions, those of you who are tuned in right now, in our uh, webinar questions uh, window, please ask your questions for Nick and I to answer later. Let's go on to the next slide. Perfect. So grow your business with Jabra um, with our featured work from anywhere products, and I'll get into those. So this is just the world we live in. It's it's a you know popular slide that we use. It kind of shows everywhere work remote working wise. So professionals on the go, you're maybe taking a call on the gym, um, contact centers, commuting. So really everywhere that you can work from, we have it, um, we have devices engineered for those particular areas. And you can see on this slide, and I, I really wanted to bring this up, just how, and this is something we touched on earlier how the work environment is really changing. More and more we see that noise and interruptions are becoming a, a, a real big part of our day. Um, as you can see, even back in 2012, before everything happened, 73% of workers stated that noise and interruptions were an unfortunate fact of their, their daily working lives. And you know we're seeing that trend actually continue to go up. Uh, last time the survey was done, it was 2018. 2024, who knows, maybe you know, 85, 90%. Um, so that's really the, the, the trend and the products. We, we focus on that data when we created our new products here. Um, and I'll show you in the next slide how Jabra products can really help eliminate these interruptions. Um, if you look at the other part of the slide, and it, again, what we were talking about before is collaborating and inclusivity um, with these. So working from home, you're, you're collaborating with your team or face-to-face -face collaborations, um, you know, not right now, but going to get coffee with uh, maybe a potential customer or a business partner and virtual collaboration. That's really where the video calls come in. We're seeing that really grow. I'm 14%, I know they did the survey. I think that's a little low. Um, and 2020, obviously, I think we're gonna see they do the survey again. That's really gonna be a, a big jump there. So um, the next slide here, we're gonna get into a couple of the devices that we really fit these scenarios. So here are the devices that uh, Jabra recommends. Um, we do have some new products that I'll get into and I'll just go over them. I don't unfortunately have um, them on the slide deck here, but so work from home is our Evolve series. And I'm actually on the Evolve 75 now. Um, so we have the Evolve 40, which is a wired USB headset. Um, you can get that in stereo. So that's two ears or mono, which is one ear. Um, that is a wired one. So it's good um, for people call center if you're working from home at a call center because um, you don't have to worry about battery life. The Evolve 65 is a Bluetooth wireless headset. Um, it's the little brother of the Evolve 75. It's got a 15 hour talk time. So that's actual talking. That's not just, you know, you set it on your desk and you forget it and it's, the battery dies in 15 hours. That's literal talk time. Um, so that'll get you through a few days of work without having to worry about charging it. Um, the differentiator with that and the Evolve 75, the 75 has a larger battery, so it gives you 18 hours of talk time. It also has active noise canceling. So that is where you put your headset on, you hit a button, and it creates a, a feedback in your ear that actually helps block out uh, surrounding noise. So it's really good if you have, like me, two dogs that, that love to bark um, when I'm on calls. Um, and with this Evolve line, we actually just came out with our new Evolve 2 line. And that is we have the Evolve 45 or the Evolve 240, I should say. Uh, that is another wired headset. The design in these is different. So it's got better mics, better speakers, um, and the mic boom actually hides into it. So if you wanted to wear it out in a coffee house, you know, people wouldn't see that you have some big mic boom in your in your face. Um, we also have the Evolve 265 and the Evolve 275. Um, those are updated versions of these um, with 
superior noise in the mic, superior noise in the ear, and again, completely hidden mic booms. So for me, I actually got a pair. I use them, like well, was using them when I was on the plane because um, they look great, sound great, and they're really made for business. So you can get those, you know, other headsets from other brands that are just made for music, but then you have to carry around two headsets with these. They look like a um, retail version and they sound just as great as those other guys and then even better on business calls. Uh, you know, Nick, I'm, a so big fan of the, I'm a big fan of the Evolve 75E and I've been using it for the last few months. And as someone who, when I am driving, I drive a sports car. I can have decent conversations with that unlike almost any other headset I've worn. And because of that active noise cancellation, where it blocks out sound, people are not saying to me, I can't hear you, the car's too loud. <laughs> and there's no Bluetooth speaker in the car, it's a, it's a vintage sports car. And I like to open it up. The 75E, to me right now, went from out there driving, it's a necessity. And I appreciate saying that, and I find it uh, true as well, and, and most people do. Um, and it, it leads to the, the next point perfectly. So we do have our work from your smartphone devices. So the Evolve 75E, like Andy said, uh, these are a favorite for traveling because um, you can stick them in the front pocket of a backpack or you know, even stick them in your pocket. Um, they do have active noise canceling, like Andy was saying. So it really does help block out a lot of that noise that, that people hear on the calls. Um, we have the, that's a little brother of the Evolve 65E, which just like the, on the bigger ones, uh, the only difference between these is the Evolve 65E doesn't have that active noise canceling. Still sounds great. Um, still a product that I see very regularly when I'm traveling. It doesn't have that kind of stiff neck band like the Evolve 75E does because uh, it requires a smaller battery. So it's a lot easier. You can fold it, you can bend it, really fits into a pocket well. And then we have, you know, obviously we saw everything happening with the those Apple AirPods. Um, and we created our Evolve 65T line. Now these are actually, um, they beat out Apple AirPods in almost every third party uh, testing review on them. So CNET, um, Computer Mag, these have superior sound for both ear and mic. Uh, so we travel here at Jabra. I think everybody that travels has a pair of these. They're the best walking through an airport. I mean, the music sounds great on them. The voice sounds great on them. You can walk around and you don't look like something about Mary uh, thing going on with Apple AirPods. So these were a great addition. We actually came out with the new Evolve 75Ts that are actually a smaller form factor, yet somehow our engineers, I don't know how they do it with their magic, um, got more battery life in it, and actually a another speaker in the mic. So it actually has a couple speakers in it. Um, and how they did that, I, I, I will never know. I consider myself a, a techie person, so I go on and on about these devices, but the, the engineers are the real heroes here with that stuff. And then we have our Meet Anywhere line. So this is really virtual um, collaboration, really at its best. So you have the Jobber Panicast. I mentioned it earlier. Um, this device actually has three 13 megapixel cam cameras. It fits in the palm of your hand, but gives you um, 4K high def image and it goes up against all those other uh, competitors at a pretty good price point. Um, and it, it's got the only 180 degree full horizontal view. So everybody will say they have 180 degrees. They're really measuring just like a TV when you buy, when you buy a 52 inch. It's really not 52 inch, they're measuring that diagonally. The Jabber Panicast is the only one that is 180 degrees horizontal view. We do this with um, software that we created that actually stitches the image live of those three 13 megapixel cameras. If you guys do want some demos on that, um, let us know and I can definitely do that for you. Um, with that, we do like to pair it with one of our Speak little hockey puck conference phones. So we have the Speak 710, um, which is actually sitting on my desk right now. I use that all the time. It's best if you travel. If you're in a hotel room, you have to have a conference call. You just pull it out of your bag throw it on and you're good to go. And then we have our new 750 that just launched, I wanna say about a month ago. Um, and the difference between this and the 710 is that this actually has full duplex speakers. So what that means is if you're actually having a conference call, you, people can talk over each other. The, the, the mics will pick up 
that two people are talking and allow both to happen. If you don't have a full duplex speaker, it will only hear one person at a time and it'll cut off whoever isn't talking first. So with the 750, it's more live. It's more like you're actually in person having a real conversation. Um, it is also going to be fully team certified. Same with the 710. That's great. What, what is the biggest strength do you think today in using a Panacast? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What's well, the biggest what? I'm sorry. What do you think is your biggest strength in using the Panacast? So with the Panacast, it, it's really the quality of the image. Um, again, we can we can talk about the benefits of doing virtual calls, but you can really get that with 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 most cameras. But with the Panacast, it's the quality of the image, especially if you're setting up in a huddle room. Um, real estate is a real big issue, especially for cities like uh, Boston, New York, Chicago, where real estate is a, really expensive. Um, so with the Panacast camera, since it's got that 180 degree field of view, you can push the conference table all the way up against the wall where the TV is, TV is with the camera, and you will get everybody that's sitting at the table on screen. It also doesn't do that distortion, which a lot of cameras do because they use fisheye lens. So that presenter in the middle kind of looks like he added maybe 50, 75 pounds because he's a little bit wider than he should be or she. Uh, this actually gives you a real life looking image. Um, and it's really the benefit. So when we showcase these at, at the various shows, people can't believe um, the view, especially the 180 degrees. Um, it, it's really something that you, that you have to see. It, it, it's quite impressive. And I've been in this this world for, for many years. And when we first saw this here at Jabra, it, it, it blew us away, especially with the, so all of our SDKs and APIs are open. So that means our software is open for you. If you wanna go in there and create some sort of program inside the camera to where you want it to, hey, Andy just walked in the room in the meeting, let's set an alert pop up on the display. Say, hey, welcome, Adam, thank you for coming. Um, you have complete access to our software that you can go in there and create these, sort of sub programs that you can have this camera do it, it it's quite impressive and i guess it's impressive because it works with all the leading video conferencing solutions out there as well as jobber's own exactly could have said it better myself so it, it works with go to webinar zoom blue jeans which i believe was just bought by verizon um you know it works with all of them right out of the box it's plug and play so you don't need to download anything um, if you do want to control it, you can download the Jabra Direct software app. That will allow you to customize the camera's field of view. So you, it is right, it's always set at 180 degrees. You can lower that if you want. I know I was doing construction on my office and I had to, I set it to uh, 90 degrees because I didn't want people seeing the other side of my office that was all bare drywall with, with mud still on it. So um, that is a free software that you can download. You don't need to download it, but I do recommend it because it, you know, it, it gives you that benefit of being able to really utilize a camera to its fullest capability. And power is what? Power via USB, power over ethernet, or plug in a wall? So it's actually powered by USB. Um, so it comes with the cable. You just plug it into the back. There's only the one cable. So you just plug that into the back. That does your 4K video and power plugging it into your, your monitor. That's great, especially how people are power outlet challenged these days because they're used to only having to plug in two, maybe three things into an outlet. And today, people are now having to plug in their computer, their speaker, their this, their that. And that's great that it's a USB power adapter or camera. Tell us about your speaker line. So the speaker line, so we have um, a few different flavors here. So we have the 410, which is kind of our entry level. That is a USB um, only device. They all look very similar in design. So they're that, that circular shape. Um, as I said, the 410 is just USB, it's entry level, um, but it's great for somebody that, you know, doesn't really take it on the move, just has it in their office sitting there. That's usually the one I recommend. That's good for about, you know, four people sitting around, can have a great conversation with it. We have the 510, which the difference between that and the 410 is the 510 adds Bluetooth. So that's one that you can take with you when you travel. Um, that's actually the preferred one a lot of people take when they're traveling. They don't need the power of the 710. It's really just going to be for them in their hotel room. But they like to be able to just pull it out of their pocket, throw it on a desk, and just be able to connect Bluetooth with it. Um, it does work, obviously, with cell phone or laptop. It does come with a Bluetooth dongle. 
So if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth, you can just plug the dongle in um, and it'll work off of that. We then have, like I said before, the 710, which the 710 adds a few different mics into it. Um, it's Bluetooth, NFC. It's got a kickstand. You can actually wirelessly daisy chain two of these together. So if you have a little bit larger of a conference room, and you have a larger table, you can throw one on one end and wirelessly connect another one to that same and have them work as one unit, but cover a larger area. And then our Speak 750, um, it's the newest one we just launched a month ago. Like I said, it has that full duplex mic in it. So you could create those real conversations. It's got a little bit longer of a battery life and you can also wirelessly daisy chain two of those together. Um, that gets you to about, you know, the 750, I would say maybe about 10 to 12 people sitting around a table with the two of them wired together. Um, if you do have a larger conference, you wanna get about 15 to 20 people around it, we do have our Speak 810. It's a bigger device. It's kind of shaped like a, 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 a flat football. Um, that's good for about 15, 20 people. That one does have to be plugged in. Um, it's bigger, it's got more needs for power. The nice thing about it is it does have Bluetooth, it does have NS NFC. You could plug it in with a USB to a laptop. Um, and you can actually, it's got PoE, so you can actually um, charge another device off of the 810, which like Andy said, with everybody being short on power spaces, having the ability to actually plug in another USB and I don't know, charge your cell phone or something off of it um, was a great benefit that we found with it. And what's the fidelity like on those? They're small, but they're mighty speaker phones. What, what kind of audio range do they give? Yeah, I, I can't speak of the fidelity and the, and the megahertz of it. I, I'd have to pull that out for you. Um, but it, it, it's quite good. Um, I know I listen to it, and I hate to say it, but a lot of times I use my, my 710 for music. So I'm the kind of guy that when I'm working, doing emails and whatnot, I need to have music going. And it's um, it sounds great. It sounds just like my... I hate to name drop another manufacturer, but it does sound a lot like my Bose speaker that I have. Um, and it's, it's really great sound quality to it. So it's got treble, it's got bass. It's not just for voice. It's actually able to handle music and passages and sound and tones so that you're able to discern the difference. That's, that's a big testament to a speaker because today people are doing exactly what you're saying. They're not just using it as a single, uh, a single line device for voice, they want to listen to their music, they might want to, you know, and besides, if it's music and it's music on hold, you really want to make it sound as good as possible. <laughs> because we've all heard some pretty bad music on hold sound because it's coming through at such a low bit rate. Our resellers are always interested in how they can work more closely with all of our brands that are within the SkySwitch store. I know Jobber's got a partner program. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So like Andy said, we do have a partner program. We call it the Jabra One Partner Program. Um, this is a program that that authorizes you to, to resell Jabra products. So you'd become a Jabra reseller. It's a cost-free program, so there's no cost to it. It takes about five minutes to sign up to be a Jabra reseller. It's all done online. You get instant approval. It's really just agreeing to our T's and C's. And not only is it the way to resell Jabra, but it opens up a lot of benefits. Um, so it helps drive the preference for selling Jabra by making marketing materials freely available to you. So you can go on our Jabra One Rewards or Jabra One Zone website. Um, there's a whole tab that's just marketing that has images, email templates. It's got everything that you could need um, right there at your fingertips for you. It's got rewards, so it rewards your commitment and value by giving you access to our Jabra Rewards Program. And that's where you can, every sale that you do, um, you can earn points for the Jabra products that you sell. And with those points, you can actually go onto our Jabra Rewards website, and there is a whole bunch of products there that you can purchase these points. Um, back when I was a, a working for a distributor, we were able to get these points from Jabra. And I actually got a grill from it. <laughs> so it's not just headsets and things like that. It's actual products um, that, that you would use all the time. Um, it creates a competitive advantage for you if you sign up to be one of our partners. It gives you access to our promotions, our programs like Deal Reg and NFR, which is not for resale. So if you guys sign up to be a reseller and you need to out update your office or your workers with new headsets, you can utilize our NFR program, our not for resale program. That'll save you uh, quite a bit of margin 
quite a bit of money off of your, your purchase. So we really want you guys, if you're going to be selling our products, to be using it. It, it really drives, um, you know, sales, if, if you can actually speak to how, how great the headsets are. So we do give you a, a, a great incentive monetarily if you need to outfit yourself with these headsets. You will also get an outstanding partner experience. So you will get a dedicated job rep that will be able to help you with, you know, any and all of your questions and opportunities. And with that job rep, you get access to uh, special tech support numbers. So you don't have to wait in the general tech support number. Um, you will actually get a, a, a special one just for yourself, just for the resellers that you guys can skip the line a little bit. You'll also get access to um, our marketing uh, people from Jabra. So if you want to do a marketing program that maybe won't, isn't one that we already have, uh, you know, honey baked in, you can let us know and we can get you on the phone with one of our marketing reps and, and really create something that works for you and your company. That's great. Why don't you give the website again where they can find it so they don't have to go back and listen to the replay? Because a program like that is certainly of value to our resellers. And that's really who we're trying to convince to be, you know, more aware of what Jabra has to offer. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a very simple ad address. So it's just www.jabraonezone.com. And then with that, you're going to see a link that comes up. Um, it'll ask you to sign up. Just click on that. And that'll take you to the partner um, sign up page. Like I said, it, it's free of charge and it only takes about five minutes to fill it out. And that's J A B R A O N E Z O N E. So onezone.com. Correct. Okay. Spell it out all the way. We're going to take some questions <laughs> and, and, and looking at it. And what I like is the one in the zone. It's Z O N E, one O N E, Jabra. So it's really easy to remember. Um, we've got some questions. Robert. Haney asks, is there a cost-effective video solution for home offices? I feel that this plays right into what you were discussing with the Panacast. Yeah, exactly. It's actually what most of the job are people we use at home. So it is great for the huddle rooms. That's what it was designed for. But even right now, that is the camera that I have sitting on top of my, my work monitor. Um, at Jabra, that's what we all use. And it's really the the kind of go to. I mean, obviously it's it's 895 MSRP. So is it something that you're going to want to give to all of your employees as like a webcam? Probably not. Um, but if it's kind of work from home that you're going to have these calls, you're going to have a lot of video meetings. Um, it's really something I would look into. Robert also asked if we can get the slide deck. You have no problem with us sharing your slide deck with our resellers, do you, Nick? No, absolutely. Yeah, you guys can definitely get the slide deck. So, Robert, it, it will be posted as a link on the blog after we've processed the recording from today's webinar. And look for it probably in three or four hours or by the end of our business day. We have another question that actually comes from Adam Bristol. Adam wants to know what the difference is between the Jabra Engage line and the Jabra Evolve product lines. Great question, um, and this is one that comes up quite a bit. So the Jabra Evolve line is a Bluetooth only line, so it's Bluetooth and wired USB. Um, the Engage is a DECT solution. So DECT is a lot like your back in the 90s, you had the cordless phones, that utilizes DECT. Now the great benefit of DECT is that you get longer range on it. So with our Engage line, you get about 500 feet of range. So that means that you can walk away from your desk about 500 foot without dropping the call. Bluetooth, that is really subject, everything interferes with Bluetooth. Um, it's just the nature of the beast. That'll give you about a 100 to 300 foot of range. But again, with Bluetooth, um, wireless routers, um, actually water particles in the air, walls, it all interferes with that signal. Um, the good thing about Bluetooth though, is it's gonna be a cheaper price point. So there, it, it really depends on what you're looking for of what you wanna go with. Our Engage line is also, really made for call centers, contact centers. Um, with the new deck chip that Jobber put into our new Engage line, uh, we're able to get about 200 units in one area without much interference. Now that is, there are some things that are gonna affect that. So if you do have a larger opportunity of anything over 100, reach out to us, reach out to your dedicated Jobber rep, and we can do a site survey for you to make sure that you know all the calls are gonna work the way that you want. But those are the biggest difference, um, is really the range and how many devices you can stick in one area. 
We got a note from Tom O'Fallon and Darren Sudworks. They said, I think the website is onezone.jobber.com as jobberonezone.com is not working. So that is correct. I apologize. I have uh, I do have dyslexia, but I'm not going to blame it on that. But I had a little brain dyslexia there. It is onezone.jobber.com. I do apologize. Okay. Okay, so we'll make sure in the um, in our blog post that we put onezone.jabra.com. Another question, Justin Dipopolo, Dipopolo, there we go. Um, you can either, either pronounce it Dipopolo or Dipopolo. Let's see, <laughs> are all of these available in the Sky Switch store? So I believe everything that we went over today is available in the Sky Switch store. And which means you'll be contacting Kelly to make sure that they are or they can be made available. Kelly's doing Absolutely. a great job. If those of you who don't know, Kelly Osborne is doing just a fantastic job running the SkySwitch store these days. You can contact her at store at skyswitch.com with any questions. Um, how is the volume control on the portable speaker phones? Asked Kyle Wayman. Um, he says, especially when working from home, but also in the office for a call that's not for a group in a conference room. Am I going to share my call with everyone around? I guess he's saying, can he turn the volume way down? Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. You can control it. Um, if you do have it hooked up to your um, device via Bluetooth, or if you do have the USB one, you can control it either with your computer um, volume or it does have buttons on the device that you can lower it that way. Um, Darren Sudweeks asked, what was the answer for the small home office video solution? Darren, you're going to have to listen to the replay. No, seriously, what, <laughs> uh, what Nick was talking about is their Panacast solution. Um, has an MSRP of $895, I believe. It is a very small USB-powered camera with a full 180-degree range. It's what Nick and his colleagues are using. I remember seeing the Panacast at... Um, at Vectors last October, the, the, the annual Sky Switch Resellers Conference that we put on. And I was very impressed by a couple of factors. One, how small it was. Two, how light it was. And three, the type of um, visual acuity that it had from both depth of field and sharpness. And those are things which video junkies like me, and I look at video conferencing as like producing a TV show. So if it doesn't have production value and production quality, it's not something you really want to be using. And what I was impressed about with the Panacast was how it met that level of, of use, the 4K video, the high def, uh, high def reach, and how sharp and clear the images were. So that's what Nick was talking about as far as what a solution is. He says... Um, Dan Daly from USA Phone from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Hello, Cherry Hill. Can I get the job or contact information or can you call me? Um, Nick, we'll make sure that we send you Dan's information from USA Phone. He's very interested in how they can get started. Um, Mark Bernecker asks us, what does the standard warranty look like and can people opt to purchase some type of extended warranty? So the warranty is uh, one year for wireless and two years for wired and three years on a couple of our wired products called the Biz 2400. Uh, so again, wired is two years, wireless is one year. Um, you cannot buy extended warranties through Jabra. Um, it's just the one year, two year, and then three years with our um, select few Biz 2400 headsets. Darren Sudweeks doesn't think the Panacast is cost effective for home use. Any thoughts on Jabra coming out with something that's a little more uh, value price to compete with some of the consumer price cameras that we see not available these days because they're all sold out at places like Amazon and Best Buy? Oh yeah. Um, as of right now, we're really focusing on it being a uh, device made for huddle rooms and conference rooms. Um, I don't believe we're going to come out with uh, much of a cheaper solution for that. As, as someone who's been in the video world since Sightspeed, and that was one of our, my agency's old clients years ago in, in 2000, 
five, six, seven before they got acquired by Logitech. The, we learned early on that there was consumer grade products and there was business grade products. Then some of the brands came out with prosumer products and that would probably be what Darren's looking for is something in the prosumer space for home. And I've always been a believer that the consumer stuff just doesn't work for business, doesn't have the, the durability, doesn't have the duty cycles, doesn't have all of the bells and whistles you need for business. And if you're an executive, the panic cast feels to me from what I saw back in October, like the right executives camera to be able to have executive level communication. Whereas uh, some people may be able to get away with something which is a little less pricey and not built to do the exact same things that the Panacast does. And again, different different strokes for different folks, but I think Darren makes a point that there's a need for a more value price device. It may not be in your catalog today, but maybe in the future. Um, yeah, I, it, it very well maybe. Um, we've been doing the Panacast for, for about a year and a half now. So, you know, who knows down in the future, we might see that same need and decide, you know, let's make one for that prosumer, as you put it. So that, and that's where it is. I'm just going through our questions. I think that, um, I think that that goes through everything. We've had a great 50 minutes with Nick Bayon from Jabra. Jabra is one of the SkySwitch uh, trusted brands that is available inside the SkySwitch store. Uh, for resellers, this is your way to find things. Obviously, if you have specific requests, don't hesitate to reach out to Nick at Jabra or to our own Kelly Osborne, Kelly store at skyswitch.com. Unless there's any more questions, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna remind everybody that there's some prizes coming. Emily and Erica will be doing the virtual drawing to figure out who gets them. Uh, we wanna thank Jabra for that prize package of some very useful work from home goodies. It wouldn't be the same without them. Nick, thank you for your help today. Why don't you tell us what those prizes are real quick? So I believe we're giving out some of the Evolve headsets. Um, and I know you said Emily's going to be pulling those drawings. So once you guys get those, if you have any questions, you see all my contact info listed there. Just, uh, you know, give me a call, shoot me an email. If you have any questions on those products or any others or any questions on signing up, just let me know. Great. And thank you to our audience. We had another good turnout this week. It's great. We'll have another upcoming webinar next week all about safe work. I'm Andy Abramson. I'm with SkySwitch. I want to thank Nick and the entire team at Jabra, Nancy, and the rest of the gang, Graham, for doing such a good job at helping us make it easier for our resellers to know more about you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone.